So in the last video, I talked about how to implement optimistic concurrency management using concurrency check in entity framework. The problem with concurrency check is that you have to set it for each and every property that you want to manage. And that would be a lot in a real application. You might have 10 or 15 properties and uh, putting concurrency check over 10 property means that the where clause here uh, would be a long one with lots of ands and lots of uh, checks uh, performance wise that would not be ideal uh, and surely it takes uh, a long time uh, in your application to check and manage these things so there are other ways uh, that we can implement this but we need to get help from SQL Server so let's get rid of this concurrency check and add a property here called raw version and let's put the timestamp on top of it and using this we are using the raw version mechanism in SQL Server and um, we need to add a migration update our database and uh, after that uh, the concurrency management happens inside your SQL server and your entity framework's job is only to look for change in raw version you see with any change that you make in uh, uh, any property any of these properties the raw version would change there would be byte value inside this raw version and with any change inside any of these properties any of the properties in your, in your model the raw version would change and that signals entity framework and you that uh, there has been a change and uh, the concurrency doesn't match and you can or entity framework can raise an exception so that uh, you would manage the situation so let's add a migration and call it post timestamp and let's update database you see that this time we are adding a column to our table and the type is raw version and it is done we have updated the database and now we can check the raw version mechanism so let's go to the posts here and you see there is a binary data here and if i select everything and execute the raw version is uh, something like this 7d1 and lots of zeros it's a binary byte so uh, let's change something here let's change the price to 50 and commit you would see that if I execute this again let's do it uh, in a new query and only run this part we have a new value here so the 7d1 changed to 7d2 and if i change something like comment count to 2 and commit 
and run this again we have 73 so with any change inside any of these columns and the raw version would change and this time entity framework only has to check for raw version it doesn't have to have a big where clause for title price user id comment count log id and, and everything it only needs to look for raw version and if there's any change uh, it will realize that uh, something has changed and the concurrency doesn't match so it will erase an exception let's see this in action let's go and run our application again to do this in a debug mode and we have our application up and running and let's change the price to 55 and submit save change is here and the update clause is here somewhere not executed yet and let's um, go to management studio and change the price to or change welcome to one and commit and now let's continue we have an exception some of rows uh, has changed and entity framework notices that we have welcome one in database but the price didn't change so you see this time entity framework only uh, checks where id and the row version so it doesn't have to uh, look for title price comment count user id blog id and everything else it just has to look for raw version change and if between the time you read the raw read the data and uh, change the data submitted uh, something changed in the background the raw version would change and would not match so data can would not be updated obviously this approach is faster in many ways because uh, sql server is better at managing data changes because it happens inside of it and i'm sure uh, when they were developing sql server they they worked hard uh, to make it fast and performant enough uh, for these kind of situations so if you can use raw version use it and if you have more than uh, two or three properties to manage for concurrency i think raw version is a better approach uh, that's it for today thanks for watching and see you soon